So today we are discussing about E transfer laboratory for six semester student. So today's experiment is uh, parallel and counter flow heat exchanger. Whenever you talk about uh, heat exchanger, it is a device where the transfer of heat will take place between the cold fluid and the hot fluid. So this heat exchanger will be used in uh, several places of uh, thermal power plants. Uh, in the uh, thermal power plants, we are using in the uh, Condenser, then if you are talking about refrigerator or air condition, then condenser and the evaporator part will be there. So, there also we are using our day to day life in engine, the radiator part that is also one kind of heat exchanger. So, so many applications we are getting in the heat exchanger. So, now we will study how we, how we will get the performance of that heat exchanger. So, that means uh, we have to find out the overall heat transfer coefficient of that heat exchanger, then efficiency of that. Uh, heat exchanger. So, how you are going to find out that one heat exchanger, we will study in this experiment. Before starting out this experiment, we should know some uh, something about heat exchanger that is the parallel flow heat exchanger and the counter flow heat exchanger. So, now we told about hot fluid and cold fluid. So, transfer of heat will take place between hot fluid and cold fluid. If the directions of hot fluid and cold fluid, if it is in the same direction, then it is called as parallel flow heat exchanger. If the direction of flow hot and cold fluid is in the opposite direction, then it is called as counter flow heat exchanger. That part you should know that is parallel flow heat exchanger and counter flow heat exchanger. In the parallel flow, the both hot and cold fluid will flow in the same direction. Whereas in the counter flow, the hot and cold fluid will flows in the opposite direction. So now you will come to the setup part. So this is the heat exchanger. So this is the concentric tube, concentric tube cylinder where we will have inside we will have the hot fluid and outer side we, uh, cold fluid will flows. This is the heat exchanger and this is the piping arrangement for uh, hot fluid. See from hot fluid. Here, from water it will come over here and flow meter will be there. We are adjusting the flow rate of uh, hot, hot water and it is then it is going to the boiler where it will ease the water. From the here it is going to the inner tube of uh, heat exchanger. So this is the flow direction of your uh, hot fluid. Next cold fluid. Cold fluid here it is there. This is the flow meter where we have to adjust the flow meter required whatever the flow is required. That flow we have to adjust. Then it is coming over here. Then here valves are provided. That side two valves and this side two valves are there. So that we can change the direction of cold fluid. Hence we are getting the parallel flow and the counter flow heat exchanger. So now we will start the experiment. First you have to switch on the mains, first you have to switch on the mains, then you have to switch on the console. After switch on the console, we can see the temperature of uh, water, uh, water. So here T1 represents hot water inlet. So that is nothing but this temperature and T2 is nothing but hot water outlet. Hot water outlet, this is the outlet temperature of hot water. Then T3 will be the cold water inlet, here it is provided T3, so cold water inlet and this one is the cold water outlet temperature. So these readings uh, we can see over here in the digital meter, so we can see over here. Next what you have to do now we have to achieve, before that we have to set up the flow rate of hot water and cold water. So hot water flow rate we are adjusting around the 20 cc per second whereas hot water uh, cold water will be 25 cc per second so this is the mass flow rate of cold water and mass flow rate of hot water so these are the two flow rates we have to adjust next first we will go for the parallel flow heat exchanger so this is the flow direction of hot water so from here it is coming over here so this side hot water will flow so now we have to adjust cold water in the same direction. How to adjust the same direction? See over here. After coming over here, cold water, it will come over here. So we have the two valves. So we have to close this valve. We have to close this valve. Then we have to open this valve. So while open, open this valve and close this valve. 
so that water will come over here and it is flowing in the same direction hence we are maintaining the hence we are maintaining the parallel flow direction so while water flows in this direction note on the temperature so t1 will be your hot water inlet temperature note down this temperature next t2 will be the hot water outlet temperature note down this temperature t3 will be the cold water inlet temperature note down next t4 we have to note down the cold water outlet temperature so this temperatures we have to note down after noting down we have to calculate the performance parameters for the parallel flow heat exchanger so this is about parallel flow heat exchanger next we have to get the counter flow so what you have to do again we have to see water flow is over here now direction should come from the opposite direction so what you have to do we have to close this uh, close this valve well. close this valve well and uh, open this open this valve and this has to be open this has to be open and that has to be closed that valve has to be closed so what will happen your water will flow from over here water will comes over here then cold water will flows over here so what water will be in this direction cold water will be in this direction so that is nothing but your counter flow heat exchanger while achieving this one you have to wait for steady state then after steady state you have to note down the temperatures see over here hot temperature will remain same that is t1 and t2 will be remain same but now we have to be careful because direction is changed for counter flow so whatever here mentioned t3 that t will become t4 and whatever mentioned t4 that will become t3 just here t4 and t3 will be interchanged because of the change of the direction of cold water flow hence after noting down this temperature we have to calculate we have to calculate the performance parameters of the counter flow heat exchanger so in this way we are conducting the experiment for parallel and counter flow heat exchanger thank you